Hello guys, welcome back. This is going to be our Battletech walkthrough part 1.2. We just completed our first side mission. We're now looking to do a second one or go do the next storyline. I'm looking at the second one and we got a jump, but they're going to pay for the jump. So that's cool. Um, however, this is an assassinate mission. Assassinate missions are basically the best side missions you can take because the target you're assassinating is almost always in a decent mech. More often than not, especially later, they're going to be in mechs better than what you have. So that's going to give you really good chances to capture big mechs. The only downside to this mission is it only has two guaranteed salvage. However, we need good mechs, we need upgraded mechs. Even if I only get two pieces of it, we're still going to take this. So, we're going to go ahead and negotiate this for the max salvage. And we are going to accept. Calculating course now, Commander. And we're going to start flying. The nice thing about this, though, also is it was a 22 day travel. Our Centurion completes before we get there, which means we're going to have our missile boat in order to help us capture the mech. Which is what the missile boat is basically designed for. Um, all that extra stability damage he's going to deal is going to greatly help us in capturing the mech. Alright, so we've arrived at the planet now. So we're going to go ahead and take our mechs. Um, we're going to switch out the spider for our nice new missile boat. And we're going to go ahead and deploy. Alright, so, finally gotten into our mission. Destroy the escorts, destroy the reinforcements, eliminate the guy. So it looks like we're probably going to have two lances, whether it's vehicles or actual mechs, I don't know. Um, but... We're looking at the terrain. What we're going to do is head over here. Ooh, we don't want to go up there. That's going to destabilize us. So we'll just head to here and kind of hide behind the rocks. I read you, Commander. First. Moving out. And our Centurion is going to kind of lag behind. He's our long range guy, so we don't need to get him too close to combat. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. It does you don't want to like get caught one. in a crossfire. So they warned us about an ambush. We can assume that's probably going to happen. Um, so what we're going to do now is just jump jet our way up. That way I can move and brace. Awesome. Enemy detected. So we found our contacts. So he's just going to brace. Um, we want to jump jet because we actually Got move it. farther. And this is a not. This is our first planet that's not bad for our heat. Um, so we have maximum heat reduction. Not maximum, but we have our full heat reduction capacity right now. So that's going to be good for us. On my way. And we want to keep this guy close, but we want him to clearly be behind. Additional Ooh. enemies detected. So we got the mech up top. So they've kind of got a concave around us. We're going to reserve and see who wants to get into our gun's range. Like a little vehicle does. Oh, just out of range. We're going to reserve again. Give anyone else that wants to move a chance to move into range of us. Basically, we want to have as much information as we can before we do anything stupid.
And as scary as that was, I think we took 8 total damage. That's the nice thing about the jump jet. You can move pretty far, brace, and have a bunch of evasion. And a brace come back. Ready for order. Alright. I forgot to look at the pilots, but we did pick up bulwark on a number of our pilots. So I can not move, shoot, and get brace status again. So that's probably what we're going to do here. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna kill this guy. Very good. One for the scrappy. All right, and a nice thing you do, because some lances only have three mechs, some have four. Occasionally, you'll see one of these things where there will be more than four. Very rarely, but if you look, we know there's only three. There's only four because we killed one and it's twenty-five percent. Not a big deal, but it is worth paying attention to that. All right, I can move this guy up and start attacking, or we can just stay. Actually, we can just move back. No, we'll move up. We'll get a little aggressive here. I don't see a reason not to be. Actually, I see plenty of reasons not to be. So we're just gonna brace, and we're gonna let them come to us again. Brace. Lose my evasion pips, but I kind of like where I'm at, so I'm fine I'll do what I can. not having them and just having the brace. Okay, so that's Spider. We're just going to kill him. We're not interested in um, capturing him. We've already got one, and I clearly don't want to use him ever again. Damage minimal. So... Alright, Locust, not what we're looking for. We'll kill him too. And another spider. So hopefully, one of these mechs is not the diplomat, because that would be not cool for us in terms of what we wanted to capture. Um, I think what we're going to do is jump jet this guy into the woods here so he can get cover. And we're going to see what shots we have. Not the best shots. But that's mostly because they've got so many pips. Um, I think we have the best chance to hit this Locust back here, so what we're going to do is just focus down this Locust this turn. Um, so I'm just going to fire... Yeah, we're just going to fire everything, see what we can't get through. Not much. None of our big things hit, but we removed um, a pit. And the point of this is mainly... If all four of our guys attack this guy, we should kill him. Um, and that's all we can really do here. Yes, Commander. So we're gonna jump him up here also. We're gonna turn him exactly. so our front is facing everybody. And again, we're gonna attack the same guy. Notice we have slightly better targeting solutions, and that's because we lowered his evasion first. Nice. So we actually broke his entire right side. What that means is our Vindicator Good to go. should be able to finish him off. Affirmative. All right, we're gonna look at what we've done to him. All right, we took off that entire side. And we're going to fire a normal shot, because I'm pretty sure this has a good chance to just outright kill him. If two of our lasers hit his center torso, he dies. So we're going to fire all of them. And notice, we eliminated two pips. This guy's all of a sudden very high hit chances. So I believe that's a kill. It is a kill. Bang, you're dead. So... The nice thing is, now our missile boat gets to shoot. 
basically whatever he wants. So he is going to use an aim shot because our morale is full. And he's going to try and take out one of these locusts, I believe. Or spiders, I guess they are. Alright, um, we're going to rotate him in place. So we just click there. We're going to rotate him so he's got both targets in his sights. Notice this spider has way more armor than this one. So we're going to aim shot this guy. And we're just going to go for the center torso. And our aim shot improves our chance to hit just generally. So that's also good. Nice. So that did a ton of damage to him. <laughs> Alright, whatever shot that, if it was a mech, that's going to be our um, elite diplomat that we're going to be trying to capture, probably. Because that was a fairly big cannon. Slightly bigger than you'd see on these really light mechs. So, hopefully that's a mech out there and not a um, tank. Because that means that's going to be our target. This guy hasn't done anything yet, so I want to try and end him. What can I do for you? So Glitch is going to fire her full complement at him. He's only got 2 HP in his torso, so we were one missile away from one-shotting this guy last turn. So as long as one of these hits his center torso, we got kill him. It. Did not hit it. Oh, no, we did. Good. And stay down. Nice. Alright, so we've got two vehicles here. We're going to try and take care of these two vehicles with our the rest of our turn. And then we'll worry about the little spider. The spider's kind of insignificant. My guys all have max armor for the most part. Um, so we're not worried about the spider punching through. Actually, what is my target here? Pretty good, so we'll just take that. Yeah. Enemy unit destroyed. Oh, there's just more and more vehicles. Commander. Okay. The Shadow Hawk is gonna jump over here. And actually we're gonna jump here. Yes. Notice the, the layered lines. I want to try and put him right on that first um, line in my targeting sphere or thing, radar, whatever you want to call it, because that's going to be the optimal spot for um, a couple of my weapons. So that'll give me the best chance to hit this guy. So targeting hopefully this target. kills him. It does. Sweet. So we've still got... Vehicle trash. It looks like four more enemies, one of which is going to be our main target. So. And Medusa. We're not going to aim shot this, we're just going to fire it. Actually, no, we are going to aim shot this, because he does not have... Um, evasion pips right now, so we'll just aim shot this, and hopefully we'll get the kill. Probably won't, because he's got a lot more armor than the other guy. But we did a ton of damage, so we're happy with that. Alright, this mech, ooh, that mech is probably our main target. It might not be, but I think it is. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. So, that's probably the one we're going to be trying to capture. Actually, it definitely is counting what we got left, so. 
Alright, that tank way out there is kind of annoying. Holding firm. But I think we're just gonna ignore him. I hear ya. Alright, my Vindicator is gonna jump up. She's there. Time to fly. And he's gonna attempt to murder this spider. Actually, he might not be able to. So he's gonna aim shot the spider. Let's see if we can't quarter him out. Got him. Nice. Did you see that? Did you see it? Hey, we're getting out flanked. Ooh. Hit there. That was a pretty big one. Alright, we're going to send one of these Shadowhawks off to deal with these tanks behind me. Because that was not, not cool. Okay, he apparently is not going to see him from there. Can he see him? Yes. I copy. So he's going to deal with these. The Scorp... Oh, God. Scorpion's got an AC-5. Targeting for an alpha strike. Not the scariest thing, but it did hit pretty hard. It hits for 45, so not something I want to be taking in my back while I'm dealing with the rest of this. Alright, so this Shadowhawk, his goal is to kill this vehicle here. We want to jump somewhere, or I have line of sight, but I'm not in this crap. Because this stuff... 50% stability damage, so I don't want to be taking stability damage. At least not yet. We may jump in there in a little bit, but I don't want to be there right now. Yes, he was. And let's finally maybe see what our prize is going to be. Shadowhawk. Okay. That's a worthy mech for us to capture. We've already got two. The third one is okay. I was kind of hoping for a Vindicator or something bigger, but I'll take a Shadowhawk. Alright, so our goal now is to make this guy unstable. I'm just going to rotate this dude. And now our LRM-15 does extra stability damage. So what I'm going to do is just fire the LRM-15. Because this should do 45 damage, right? Or 60 damage if everything hits. Um, but it will more importantly deal 45 stability damage. So actually, we need to deal a little more. We're gonna also fire the ten. I'm on it. Cause he's got some picks, so. Target damage. Concentrate your fire. Bring it down. There we go. So we got a good bit of stability damage on him, and it all went into his arm, which is the important thing. Now, actually, I need this Shadowhawk with his missiles to assist in taking this guy down. So what we're going to do with the Vindicator, because he's not going to help us much in this, is jump him up here to deal with this guy. Engaging jump jet. He'll just brace there. And the Shadowhawk's going to jump down, because I need these stability weapons in order to take this guy out. And he is running away from me, which is annoying. to see him so I can see him from there. Good. Engaging jump jets. Ooh, he's braced. That is perfect. So we're gonna fire everything that does stability damage. 
Um, and we'll accept these low values. We're not happy about it, but I need to save these precision strikes for later. So. Not a ton of stability damage there. Okay. I guess we'll only be firing our long range stuff here. But that is okay. Copy that. Inflicted some heavy damage. Now we may not be able to capture this guy. If we don't What do you need? It's not the end of the world. But uh sometimes capturing the mechs at lower levels is harder because they just don't have a ton of health. We're gonna move this guy over. Got it. And we're gonna fire. We'll fire all of them just to get that stability up. Keep targeting for now. And he's braced, so this is a good time to fire everything. We let a head hit too. Vindicator took Armor that coming. shot, which is what we wanted him to do. My turn. Okay. Orders. Commander? We're just gonna let this guy kill this thing. Kill confirmed, Commander. That's a vehicle kill. Now we, all we gotta do is try and capture this guy. That's our only goal for the rest of this mission. If it looks like we're not gonna be able to get the wounds we need to capture him, we can always try and just blow off his two legs and get um, the two pieces of salvage. Since this is not a mission where we're guaranteed to get him, even if we uh, get all three, because we only get the yeah. two salvage pieces. So we're going to keep working our Centurion around to his side. So I want to get mechs on both sides of him. That's my goal. So I can um, put shots into his arms. I think here we're going to spend our first precision strike. And I'm going to aim for this arm. Roger that. Now if we hit the arm, if we kill the arm, then it starts working on the next piece inside of him. So if I kill the arm, then any shot that would hit the arm after that will then hit the torso, the right torso, not the center, but the right. So. Waiting for orders. All right. So now we've got him pretty well hurt stability-wise. Hopefully, this shot will put him on his ass. Um, we're far enough on his side. I'm not too scared of hitting a center torso. So we're just gonna fire this. I was hoping for the SRM. Also, but didn't get it. Wow, ah, so we got the right torso, which is insane, and we got a knockdown. So we've got two wounds on him right now. This pilot probably only has three injuries, so we should be one injury away from a kill right now. I'm going to use this opportunity to sprint my guy up to him real close. So I can have one guy really close to him. Alright. Um, the question now becomes... Do I just... Blow off the right side, or the left side, and hope he's got three injuries? Or let him stand up and try and knock him over again? I think because I don't have the best stability damage, I'm just going to blow off his right arm or his left side at this point. Standing by. So that's what our plan's gonna be. We're just gonna blow off his left side, assume he's only got three wounds, and if he has 
four wounds, we can blow off this leg for a knockdown. So we're going to aim there, and he's got enough health that I can just fire fire my full volley. Firing. Okay. That hit something good. It did. So we want to move him directly to this guy's side, or as close to it as we can get. Oh no! All that stuff hit him. Alright, so we're actually going to need to let him stand up now because it's too dangerous to shoot him. And I'm going to run this, jump this guy over here. Our guys don't have the best aim, so I actually put shots into his center torso there, which I did not want to do. So the safest way to kill this guy now, it's going to be painstakingly slow process, but we're going to work slowly work our way through his left side. We might still fail at this, but we're going to put a good faith effort into it. jump. Nope. Alright, so this guy needs to get immediately to his left. So, this spot. Alright, from right here, it should be very, very hard to hit his center torso. So, we're going to precision strike this. He's got 46 health there. And 69 health there. So 46 and 69 is 75, 115. So I can only do 115 damage to him. So 45, 70, 86. Cool. So if all this hits where it's supposed to, we won't kill him. So that's good. Commander? Right, Commander. Seventeen and eleven. Alright, so I've got to try and put one medium laser into his left side. That is my goal. So we're not doing it with this guy. We want to do it with a close mech. Um, and I don't think he can get close enough to the side. Nope, he can't. So all we're going to do is just try and get a mech that can get to his left side. And Medusa is just going to guard. Digging in. That's annoying, but I should be able to jump to right there, so we should be okay. Jump. Yep, we're gonna jump right here. Engaging jump jets. It's gonna be one medium laser shot. And I'm trying to hit that. Now, I can't aim shot this, so we just gotta hope I position myself right and we get the shot in. Alright, we hit his leg. Not what we're going for. He's moving now, so at least one of my other guys should get a chance. Ooh, he got through my armor. So this guy's going to need a little bit of repair. But that's okay. Alright, unfortunately he rotated. I don't think I'm going to get a shot this time. So I'm just going to sprint this Vindicator forward. And this is the annoying part of trying to capture mechs early. Here we go. You just don't have all the tools. But 
if you can succeed in it, it pays off huge. So we're actually going to spend the time to really try to do this. Standing by. Okay. Affirmative. So I've got three mechs with a medium laser each, so I just need one of them to be able to get the side shot and hopefully connect with it. I think he can jump there. Actually, I know the Vindicator can. So. Good to go. Glitch. Jump. Here. Time to fly. And he's got a spirits up, so he should get an aim shot too. So we're gonna precision strike this for the slightly extra accuracy. And let's hope we hit his torso. Or his left torso. Firing on target. Nice. Injury. Please knock him down. Okay. Well, let's take a look at him. Waiting for orders. At this point in time. Huh. He's only got three health there. Alright, so the only way now we do it is if we hit a leg. Do I have a weapon that can hit a leg? I do. But I have to hit his what, what leg is this? Left leg? So I gotta hit the other leg. Alright. So, not him. Ready for orders. This guy is going to jump here. And we're gonna try and blow... Pray to God we hit his leg with his AC5. If we hit him and don't hit the leg, we're just gonna kill him. So, that's okay too, but... Oh, we killed him. Alright. So we only get one piece of his salvage. We put forth our our best effort. And I'm not gonna like scum save this or anything. Like, this is gonna be a one shot all the way through for the most part on the side missions. Um just so y'all see what you need to go through to do certain things. Alright, we had Seven damage go through, so not the end of the world. But no injuries, so that's great. Um, nothing great there I see, so we'll take the Shadowhawk part and we'll take the Locust just because we've already got one piece of it. So having a Shadowhawk is fine. I would have liked to have had a full one, but, you know, can't always get what you want. All right. So, not a bad mission. Got through it pretty good. Not the best mission in the world, but hey. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. There will be another part coming up soon. Thanks.